Okay, even even better. So I just want to let you, you know, we do have animals on the, the property. We mostly have what we call um, plains game. So it's mostly your bucks, so species, things like um, zebra, elands. Those ones that don't eat people. <laughs> Won't eat people. The only dangerous animals we do have here that are, well not even dangerous, but they're, they're predators are your leopard and your small cats like caracom and things like that. But you don't need to, to worry about those at all. <laughs> So, just to put it in perspective, I've seen, I've been working here for four or five years now. I've never seen a leopard or a caracol here. But we know they're, they're around. But you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, fine. Are you, are you okay? Well, you know. <laughs> You're managing. <laughs> I'm managing. I'm not managing. I think in 2017, when I was still drinking, like hard drinking and smoking, B um, went to do a Paris 21K. So I went to pick her up. So I'll drop her off in the morning for the race and pick her up after. So when I went to pick her up, she was crying. Why were you even crying? Because Paris is hard. Why did you do it? <laughs> but then when I picked her up, she was crying. I said to her, why, why, why are you crying? She said, Shut up, you won't handle half the pain I handled today. So I said to her, just enter a race for me, let's see about that. She entered a 21k race. We did 21k in 2 hour 44. Yeah, 2 hour 44, and then we did a 32. And then that was it in 2017. I think 2017 I didn't fall in love with running that much. The drinking and the smoking was still leading the pack. And then 2018, June. I visited Team C16 in Bedford View, and then I had we ran in a group, so we had guys there talking about combos, the start, the finish, the training, the experience, and I said, no, let me, I want to experience this, so then let me try go and do a full marathon. We registered for Valgate, Valgate, no, no, Val River, Val River, Val River on the first third of September. I ran my first marathon in three hour, four hour twenty eight. You did. 508. 508. After the race, I felt pain in my chest because of smoking, obviously. So I decided that's it. No more smoking. That evening, I smoked my last cigarette. Um, there was 19 cigarettes in the pack. I smoked one that evening. Then I put the 18 on top of the cupboard in the kitchen. It's still there even now. The 18. 18, no? For sure. <laughs> unless unless she smoked them, I haven't smoked them. We have them. to go and inspect that yeah, thing. I haven't smoked them in two years. I haven't touched them in two years. And then, no, not only two years, two years and a couple of months now. So I started running, but still drinking alcohol. December 2018, a guy came to me and said, look, you run very nicely. And I think if you were to cut down on the drinking, you'd definitely be a better athlete. I said, oh, really? Let me give it a try. Let me see how far I can go. If someone else looks at you and sees the potential, I think you owe it to yourself to believe in yourself. So I said, you know what? Let me cut off this alcohol. 31st December 2018, we were drinking a bottle of her favorite, Jamison. And I said, this is my last glass. I said, cheers, my last glass. Had Jamison, and that was it. Started focusing on my training, focusing on my comrades training, focusing on my training improved i got better i got better but still i felt still felt empty in terms of satisfaction i still felt yeah i'm getting my times right yeah i'm improving but i still feel empty and that's when i got into charity and giving back and this so, is how long ago now that's two years now okay it's two years and i've been i've been in the past few years i've worked with four different charities and i think the combination of giving back and wanting to see how far I can go as an individual when it comes to running. That combination makes me fall in love with running more and more every day. So it, it, it gives me more, it gives me a purpose because I know I've got 
charity to run for and I also have myself to run for in terms of being better, a better athlete. So yeah, I think that's that's why running has become so special. Yeah. And then what spurred this vision board of yours? The vision board. <laughs> the vision board. The, you know you know the first time we spoke about the vision board we were sitting on the couch on the couch at home and it was as a joke. Literally, and when was this? <laughs> June twenty June 2020, 2020. on the 22nd. Yes. It was thanks to Cyril. Cupcake. Yes. <laughs> it was the family meeting. <laughs> family meeting. So I sat down and I said to her, look, I feel I've been running, but I don't feel I've been giving my best. Okay. Like my very best. I feel comfortable. So I want to go try a 5K under 20 minutes, a 10K under 40, a 21 under 90. And if I can do those, I'm definitely going for a sub three marathon. Okay. And then she said, you crazy. So now is that the next, the sub three marathon? It's next, 28th of Feb. Okay. We're done. We, 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 someone said to me, I must not say we are attempting a sub three marathon. You're someone doing. Said, We're doing a sub three <laughs> yeah, marathon. Yeah, that's true. Puma, it's, it's, it's just, an, it's, it's just, an, just an, an individual who has a lot of so who wanted to prove his wife wrong. <laughs> who wanted basically. to prove his wife wrong, basically. That's, basically. that's the best definition. See, Pumarima is a gentleman who wanted to prove his wife wrong. And he won. Then he couldn't do the pain. He won. 